Hi guys, I am Julian, your host, and this is the 12th episode of Hit the Blocks, the screencast for Solidity and Ethereum developer. For this episode, we're going to study what is the Truffle Unbox command, which helps you to set up your whole project. Think of it as a sort of a yeoman for your distributed application. So first, open a terminal, create a project folder, and we're going to execute the Truffle init command. And we're going to look in detail what it actually does. So the truffle init command is the command with which you can initiate a truffle project. But when you actually look carefully at the output, so you see that the first line tells you that it's downloading, then it's unpacking, setting up. And after it tells you unbox successful. Hmm, interesting. So actually, Run you run a truffle init command, you're already using the truffle unbox command, but uh, it's just that it's not explicit. Okay, so let's open a web browser and visit the GitHub of the truffle core project, which is basically the main component of the truffle framework. So I'm going to scroll down and there is a folder which is called lib, so I'm going to click on it. And inside this lib folder, there is another subfolder, which is command. Click on commands. And then there is a file, which is called init.js. And it's basically there that you'll find the instruction executed for the truffle init command. So let me scroll down. And I can see that at some point, there is an interesting line, which is basically the repo of the uh, for the box that we we've just unboxed. So it's uh, the what I've highlighted here. So I'm going to copy the address of this line and I load it on another tab. And here you can see what you have inside this bear box. So I scroll down and here I can, I can see that I have my contracts folder, migration, test, etc. And now if I go back to my terminal and I ls what I have inside, so I can see that it, it's basically the same exact, uh, project structure that we just saw on GitHub. Okay, so let me clear my screen. So now I'm going to remove everything. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the unbox command, but explicitly this time, so with truffle unbox. And then I can specify the name of the box that I want to unbox. So there is a box which is very convenient, which is called React, which is basically a version of the Create React app boilerplate that has been adapted for Truffle. So I run this. Oh, my computer is taking quite some time. So if you see that it's a little bit too long, don't worry. Just sit back, relax. It's normal. It's not broken. It's just downloading and, and doing stuff. Okay, so the unbox command has just finished. So when the command finishes, it will tell you different comments that are useful for this box. So for example, here I can see that if I want to compile, I can run truffle compile, uh, migrate command, the, the test command. So those commands aren't specific to this box. They are valid for any truffle project. But if I continue to read the, the other comments, I can see some comments that are just specific to this box, like how to test this tab, how to run the dev server. So here, npm run start, it's actually what I want to do. Okay, so I'm going to clear up my screen here, and I'm going to run the, this command to start the dev servers, npm run start. Okay, so I already have something running on port 3000, so do I want to use another port? Yes. Okay, so we have this error message on the web browser which says fail to compile, error, module not found, build contract simple storage.json. Okay, so this file which is missing is a contract artifact. It's basically a JSON document that describes the compile contract. So it means that we are missing a compilation step. So let's go back to our terminal and we're going to open another terminal window. So I click on new terminal. Okay, so I'm going to run the truffle compile command. And now 
I can check that I actually have this build file that I was missing. So if I check in build slash contract, I can see that I have this file simple storage.json. Okay, let's clear my screen and let's go back to the first terminal window. Okay, so now uh, basically if I rerun this command npm rum start, it should not complain. Okay, so now going back to the web browser where our web app has been reloaded, we can see that this time there is no error message anymore. And we can see here a nice header truffle box and it says good to go. Your truffle box is installed and ready. And then if your contract compiled and migrated successfully, below will show a stored value of five. And then what do I see? The store value is zero. Okay, so we've solved a part of the problem, but apparently we still have another problem. So let's have a look at the JavaScript console. So control shift J. And if you're on Mac, instead of control, it should be the super key actually. Um, and then I see an error which is uncaught error, contract has not been deployed to the de uh, detected network. Okay, so the problem we have is that we've compiled our smart contract, but we're not running any local test net. So our web front end is trying to connect to a test net that isn't running. So we're going to go back to our terminal, launch the local test net of Truffle, and then it should work. So going back to the terminal and then we're going to select another tab. And now we're going to execute the truffle develop command, which will start our local test net. Okay. And now we will migrate our contract. So for this, we just need to type the migrate command which is another name for the uh, deployment. And then we have uh, those uh, messages that say saving su successful migration to network and here the hash of the, the deployed address. So now let's go back to our web app front end and we can see that this time it says the store value is five and in the JavaScript console, we don't have any error, so it's working. Okay, that's great. So now, you might have two questions. The first one is from there, how would you customize one, the front end, and two, the smart contract? Okay, so we're going to do each of those. So going back to the terminal, actually open a text editor. So for me, I'm actually already in Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to hide the terminal. And the file we're looking for is in the src directory and it's app.js with an uppercase a uh, we're going to um, load it okay and so here we can see some react code and so let's scroll down and here in our render function basically uh, there is some html and so it's where we are able to change what we want so instead of truffle box uh, in the title, I will put something like uh, eat the blocks box. Okay, so I'm going to save this. And thanks to our development server, we can directly go back to our front end and it should have been updated already. All right, so let's go back to the front end and I can see that now in the header, instead of what we had before, this time we have etb box. Okay, that's great. So now we know how to customize the HTML part. So now let's see how we can customize the smart contract. Okay, so let's go back to our text editor and this time we're going to open another file. So in the contracts folder, basically uh, the contract we are interested in is simple storage dot so. Yes, this one. Okay, and this time what we're going to do in the get function actually just to prove that I'm able to change something instead of just returning store data, we're going to return store data plus one. Okay, so it's absolutely uh, useless, but it's just to show you 
how you, you can customize your smart contract. So if you just try to uh, do your change like this, you will not see any change. So here, if I go back to my web front end, I can see that the store value is still five. Why? Because what we have done here, we've changed the smart contract, but we haven't recompiled and we haven't uh, redeployed the smart contract to our local testnet. So our web front end is still communicating with the previous version. So let's go back to our terminal. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to rerun the migration command. This time I'm going to specify the reset flag because I don't want to just redeploy the previous contract, which was already compiled, but I want to actually run the whole process, which is first you compile and then you, you deploy the contract that, that was just compiled. Okay, so migrate dash dash reset and Let's press enter. Okay, so now it's uh, rerunning the whole process. And now let's go back to our web front end and we can see that it says that the store value is six. Great, it has worked because before it used to be five, but now uh, with our plus one increment, it's actually six. Okay, so one last thing I wanted to show you is the official documentation of Truffle boxes. So on the website of the Truffle framework, there is a section that specifically talks about box and basically you have a description of what are truffle boxes and you have a section that says official boxes. So basically those boxes have been created by the developer of truffle th themselves. Here you have the react box that we've just used, but also you have others such as react auth. So with an uh, auth authentication component already set up. And if you continue to scroll down, you can see some other interesting uh, boxes, like for example, you have React Uport. So Uport is an authentication project built on Ethereum. So this one is particularly interesting and we might study it in a future tutorial. And then you have the patch up box, which is basically one of the best tutorial that is offered on the website of Truffle. So I highly encourage you to check out this box and uh, maybe do the uh, related tutorial. Uh, so we can continue to scroll down. Uh, by the way, you can click on each of those box and it will take you to the page that describes these box and you can also go to, to the GitHub. So, uh, so now it's loading. Okay, so this is the page for the uh, pet shop box. So it, uh, it gives you some, uh, so the installation instruction, uh, then what, what to do. And if you continue to scroll down, you have FAQ and then you can go to the GitHub and yeah, basically everything you need to know about this box. Okay, so let's go back to the page before this. Okay, and let's continue to scroll down so we can see some other official boxes with, uh, for example, a box with a webpack in integration. Okay, and after that, we have a section that is called community boxes. So those are basically boxes uh, created by people outside the Truffle framework. So those can be good boxes, but it's just that they are not um, official. Uh, you can also create your own box and uh, send it to the developer of Truffle uh, to be approved and put in this section. And for this, they have a documentation. And basically on this page, you can find some instruction to know how to create your own Truffle box. So it will give you all the explanation you need. I'm not going to explain this process. If you're interested, you can go read on your own, but that could be interesting if you think that you've created an interesting box and you want to share it with the community. All right, that's it for today. So I hope that now you're very clear on how to use the truffle unbox command. I really encourage you to explore all the different truffle boxes that you can use for your project because it's really going to speed up the setup and it's going to install a lot of boilerplate code, which is otherwise very boring to do yourself. If you like this channel, you can subscribe, you can give a like, you can share this video or you can leave a comment. I hope to see you in the next videos and it's time for me to say bye bye.